Just uh, to uh, um, quote uh, Archbishop uh, Gomez, you know, who is, uh, Jose Gomez is the Archbishop of Los Angeles, and he's also the, uh, the, uh, uh, the um, Vice President of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. He has referred to this time in which we live in now as, as a Latino moment. Mm -hmm. And by that, uh, Archbishop Gomez is referring to uh, the significance of the Hispanic Latino presence especially within the church in the United States, and what that presence means for the church in the United States. And not only uh, the Fifth Encuentro is looking to find better ways to serve Hispanic Latinos, but in many ways is finding new ways of, of that have to do with the church in the United States overall. And because more and more Hispanic Latinos will constitute uh, uh, leadership within within the Catholic Church in the United States. So, so the Fifth Encuentro is not only about Hispanic ministry; it's about the Church in the United States. And how is it that we prepare ourselves to develop a roadmap for the new landscape in which the Catholic Church continues to thrive, and the mission of Christ through the Catholic Church continues to get stronger and stronger, so that the reign of God is built the way it's supposed to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Can you mention some of the panelists that are going to be participating in Fifth Encuentro? Uh, yes, actually uh, the Fifth Encuentro, the national event, uh, it really is not a conference, it's the culmination of, of, a, of a process mm -hmm. uh, that will continue afterwards. And so it's going to have a mix of presentations mm -hmm. and also continuing the process of dialogue and discernment uh, of, of priorities. So you're going to have some sessions in the plenaries where we're going to have some dialogues mm -hmm. guided by an, uh, a, a short reflection by a shepherd of the church. We're going to have many you know, bishops and cardinals that are going to guide those key moments or are going to preside over the mass and some of the, if some of the prayers. So of course we're going to have the president of the conference, Cardinal Dinardo, uh, uh, of, of Houston, uh, but we're also going to have Archbishop Gomez, which uh, you know of Los Angeles, which is the president of the conference, and many other cardinals and, and shepherds that are well recognized as being very involved with uh, Latinos, uh, you know, and very committed uh, to 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 energize them, uh, you know, for for the new evangelization. We also going to have after that original reflection, after each one of the sections, uh, a panel of uh, lay people and others that are experts in their own field, whether it's social justice, immigration, uh, evangelization and catechesis, and you know, marriage and family life, youth, uh, and, and young adult ministry, who are going to then make their own contribution to this dialogue. And then people are going to take that and they're going to take it to a regional dialogue where, uh, you know, with other dioceses in the wrong region and the other delegates are going to look at that topic and say, what does this mean for us in our part of the country? You know, how do we make this a reality? What are the priorities and what are the strategies that we're going to do? So it, 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 the process continues in the national event. It's more than a conference, you know, about a speaker. So everybody's invited to weigh in, uh, but there will be these tremendous uh, moments, I think, that will be, you know, well guided by the pastors of the church and many experts uh, in the in the different fields. Yes, and uh, the uh, just to um, to talk about outcomes. You know, the the fifth encuentro process is a deliberative process. So decisions are made, pastoral priorities are are uh, discerned. So by the end of the national encuentro, you will have uh, expressions of what are the priorities that have been identified through the uh, consultation process. What are some of the pastoral recommendations that the bishops will, will receive you know, uh, from, from the leaders that have been involved in this, in this process of consultation? Uh, what are some of the commitments that the Hispanic Latino delegates are making to the bishops and to the church overall in terms of their own uh, missionary discipleship efforts? Uh, and what are some of the best practices that have been identified, you know, through the, uh, the local uh, parish, diocesan, and regional processes. So the Fifth Encuentro is coming bearing gifts of the consultation, of identification of best practices, 
recommendations, commitments, and the excitement of, of being a part of this Latino moment. I also want to add that uh, the, the main topics or the main sessions are going to be organized or all these reflections uh, around, uh, you know, this, these four dimensions uh, that Pope Francis describes in The Joy of the Gospel uh, about how does a, a church that goes forth that goes out of herself look like, you know. And so, you know, he's talking about taking the initiative and he's talking about getting involved, uh, you know, and, and he's talking about celebrate, you know, and, and, and with, with our brothers and sisters. Uh, so I think that, uh, you know, all of these steps uh, that are in the Joy of the Gospel number 24, uh, I believe it is, uh, you know, give us a, a clear roadmap that we're going to try to follow. To, to, to tell the church and tell ourselves, you know, this is what a church that in mission uh, looks like. And so, so the four days really are going to follow, you know, those, uh, those steps. And I think that's very important because uh, it really gives unity to the entire theme uh, to all of the diocese and, 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 and even within the universal church, uh, you know, and with, the, with, with Pope Francis. Well, thank you very much, Mar Muñoz Bisoso, Executive Director of the Secretariat of Diversity, Cultural Diversity in the Church from the USHCB, and Alejandro Aguilera Titus, uh, National Coordinator of Fifth Encuentro. I am Miguel Guilarte from the Office of Public Affairs, and we wish you the best for Fifth Encuentro. Thank, thank you, you, Miguel. Thank you, very thank you much. for being here.